caught in the crossfire. Uh oh, lovies. Did I strike a did I strike a nerve? This is phenomenal. Million fucking thousand trillion goddamn fucking percent done with the invasion of my privacy and and harassment of people to watch for my new email address that I have that I really wish there was a way to block. And there probably is, but they always change the fucking settings on Google and you don't know where to go. I wish there was a way that I could, I wish there was a way that I could take, that I could totally shut off on my Google profile. Uh, I lost track of what I was thinking. Oh, displaying my, the email. That's it. This is a tactic of these people that harass you and want to make you fucking kill yourself. Cause that's what's happening here. No, calling you out on your bullshit is not pushing you to suicide. Um, and if it was, uh, I suggest that you stop making videos, especially ones like this that are an hour and a half long. They're using me to get to Shannon and it's man, it's, it's been, it's been pretty crazy. Okay. But I know your tactics. I know why you do this. The goal here is for you to have a badge on your fucking dark web profile that you have a legitimate suicide video. Well, I'm telling you that that's not gonna happen because I won't let it happen. I know that you absolute disgusting sacks of shit have taken my email and put it in dating sites. Um, I don't know who he's referring to, but I certainly never, ever, ever put him on a dating site, nor would I do that to anybody. So, can't, can't blame me, Revy Rev. To make me look like I am trying to cheat on her. You've even gone as far as to write a fake fucking... It's like if you if you went into a fucking stall at Waffle House and put Betty's a good time. Call 5555-2121. You did the same fucking thing to me on an internet dating profile. Which I've never touched one of those sites in my fucking life. But this is harassment. This is how you do this. And I am absolutely done with it. Every way that I can get off the internet without having something to do with it for work-related issues, that is the only place. And listening to music, because I fucking need that for therapy. There, I did the neck thing for you because I'm starting to get indigestion because of the fucking dog shit that you've caused in my fucking life. You have bullied me so bad and, and stolen my fucking identity by taking my email and putting it in dating things that are uh, make trying to make me look like I'm looking for pussy when I'm not. That I have absolutely no... If I was going to do something like that, I would not do it on the internet. There are any number of chicks that I could probably... I've seen a few oh, times... that makes me feel better. I'm telling you the truth. Well, good for you. That I wouldn't do it this way. This oh, way. Oh, you do it more sneakier way. That's no, good to know. no. More sneaky? Well, that wasn't a bright thing to say now, was it, Rev? <laughs> um, buckle up. The fight is about to begin, lovies. The fight is about to begin. Just continue on your rant. I don't care. But see, you're winning. The dragon overcomes the saints in the end. We know that from the Bible. So I probably shouldn't expect anything different. But I will confess before the living God that you will be judged for ruining a relationship if, that, if it comes to that. I can tell you straight from the throne of God that I know in my core of hearts that I, I am supposed to be with Shannon. She was there for me in a tough time when I was suicidal and, and close to eating a bullet. She was there for me. And I will now be there for her in a very tough time in her life where her health is very bad. Her health is very bad. What's so bad about it? Is it the 400 extra pounds on her body and the fact that she doesn't leave the couch an issue? And I will gladly do everything and anything that she needs for me to be there for her and take care of her. And it wouldn't matter if we, as a couple, ended. It wouldn't matter. The fact of the matter is, is that Shani has absolutely no one in her life. No one. 
And if I were to abandon her, it would be equivalent to murder in my eyes. So, even so what you're watching is Rev suck Shiny's ass because he got caught being a little scumbag and she's sitting right there next to him listening to everything he says. So he's saying all the right things about how much he loves Shiny and ba 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 ba. The fact that you think that leaving her is the equivalent to murder is pathetic considering she's a grown fucking adult. You couldn't leave her or she would die? That's pathetic. That's pathetic. And the fact that you enable that is even more pathetic. Even if it ended, you guys wouldn't get a breakup video. You wouldn't get a br uh, uh, Shanny raging and crying. You wouldn't get any of that. You would get just no content from us. None. Oh no, whatever would we do? Is this content? Is this what you're calling content nowadays? Because you sitting there trying to get yourself out of a being a little fucking snake is not content. Because if she would have me in her life, I would stay to take care of her because she needs someone. Well, where is your sainthood badge, Rev? Oh, you're going to stay with her and take care of her as if anyone else wants you? <laughs> Nobody does. You are both stuck with each other. And you are a match made in hell. So with all of this being said, I want to make it clear about this person from Norway. This started, and Shani was right next to me the first time that I seen this woman's picture. Bullshit. That started weeks before you showed Shannon, because I remember the video where you came on and said, Oh, she sent me boobs. I didn't even see them. You're a fucking liar. Apparently, during some live stream, this person from Norway decided to give us some money. So I... So you saw that as a green light to keep in contact with this person, despite it being extremely inappropriate, and uh, just kept asking her for money every day, every day, day in and day out. You got $20, you got $30, you got $40, you got $50. Can you spare five for sodies? Can you, do you get money for this, money for that? Right, Rev? Felt that it's necessary because I am honorable when it comes to these things. I want to always thank the person to at least thank them privately, not publicly, because you psychopath, reaction assholes, like to come into other people's lives and mess with them, the people that help us. So I don't do it publicly. She's not a person that helped you. She was looking for information so she could post it on Draven's channel. Right, well. Still giving her a fucking chance, dude. Right, while giving us $50 in one week. You not see? I don't what care. To do? I didn't care I was getting $50. Yeah, okay. We need money. Yeah, right. We needed money. You're disgusting. You needed money, so you were going to do whatever you could to get money? Then how come Shani wasn't on it? Because if that was the case, and you guys were just looking for someone to that you could milk for money, which is what you just said, Shani would have been in on it. You did it behind her back, snake. So if you want me to be straight with you, and this is probably very uncaring to the person that is from Norway, but the fact of the matter is, is they just wanted to set me up to get some nice uh, DMs to give to Draven. Oh no, that's not actually how that worked, but okay, because I saw them all, all too. I saw a lot. I saw a lot that you probably don't even realize that I saw, Rev. To have their nice little <laughs> hilarious live stream that my wife played so that I could hear some of the disgusting dog shit that they had to say about her. These people don't know her at all, and the absolute disgusting fucking trash that comes from their mouth. It should be illegal. This should be considered a mo emotional abuse on a vulnerable adult, because that's what Shannon is. Shannon is a protected class. No, she's not a fucking protected class, you moron. She's a lazy, overweight nobody. That's who she is. She's not a protected class. And the bullshit that you guys put on the internet, your goddamn right people are gonna respond to it. Who the fuck are you suing? Who are you doing anything to? Sit down and shut the fuck up. And I have a name right off the bat. If we were to take people to court, it would be number one 
number one would be Draven and that live stream that you pulled up for evidence and it's all I would need and Shani would need to get a judgment against that sack of shit for attacking an emotionally, mentally protected class individual that Shani is because BPD is a very serious mental disorder and you are fucking with a vulnerable person you can be held legally liable for this shit and I for everybody that's uh, Christian pray for us that we could find a good attorney if that comes around the wayside I know exactly who I'm suing if that content stays up I, I, I will have it I will have you for a lawsuit, and you will owe me every paycheck you make, Draven. Every fucking shit paycheck you make will go to Shani for your emotional abuse and cyber-stalking harassment from you and your crew of disgusting pieces of trash that you would talk to a wonderful, mentally, has mental problems person that is un in this country protected for that from that type of bullshit, but you're going to pay. If there's a God in heaven, you will pay. Back to this shit. This Ashley girl apparently regulars Draven, uh, Ella Tallulah, who's some psychopath that was obsessed with Aaron Carter. She talks about me and Shani apparently all the time. <laughs> yep, that's me. I'm a psychopath, and I talk about you guys all the time. Um, yeah, I've been covering you for quite some time now. It's been quite a wild ride, but uh, nonetheless entertaining, as sad as that sounds. But um, I'm glad that you finally woke up, because I'm not going to stop making videos on you and Shani and your vile behavior. I find it entertaining, and so do other people. Sorry. She's absolutely unstable. Oh, I'm unstable? Am I in the protected class too? Do I get to go into the protected class since I'm so unstable, Rev? Or that just works for Shannon? Ashley is a occasional pops in and out of these chats. Shani was 100% correct about this woman from the start. She's just to get you in trouble, Jason. That's literally what she said to me, and she's right. Yeah, you, you fed into it. Whatever I'm guilty of, let's confront. You want to say it, and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll admit I'll admit everything that is true. You're telling her to send pics to your private email. There. I gotta go to the bathroom. Can you excuse yeah, me? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, how about that one? Yeah, I, I, I said if you send pics like that, send it to my email. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, I, I own it. I said, I said, Shani does not like seeing you this way so if you must if you must send pictures like that send it here not there and that was to protect shani from being triggered by her impulsive sending of nudes because that's what she was doing now hey rev rev why didn't you just say don't ever send any pictures because i already said that in instagram and then she proceeded to send pictures of her pussy no, I didn't. She at this point, like, she, like she's gonna have no friends if she keeps attacking me. She's gonna have no friends at all. I'm still on her side, but she's not on my side. See, you guys got what you wanted. You wanted division, and you made it, and you got it. So have some fun with that, because she feels like she's my enemy now. But if she ends up killing herself, it's all on you. You guys did this, and you know it. You messed with an emotionally unstable woman. One too many times. Just block her and listen to Shani for what? Yeah, I'm blocking her. She is blocked. The reason that I was, this is the bottom line. And I don't want to hurt her, but she loves hurting me and hurting my family. So I'm ready to fucking hurt Ashley. The only- I'd like to see you fucking try and hurt Ashley. I'd like to see you fucking attempt it. Let's see, Rev. Let's see how tough you are. Try fucking with Ashley. Let's see what happens to you. The reason I talked to this woman was for money. She handed us $50 in a day. And I said, holy shit, I really need money. So I'm gonna remember this and I'm gonna talk to you because I need money. 
I need money. I need money. I did this because I need money. You're a piece of dog shit. You know that? She sent you $10 and you jumped on it because I need money. You need a fucking job, loser. Almost in your damn 40s and you can't keep a job at fucking Burger King. How fucking pathetic is that? That's the only reason I ever talked to her. Because I am very happy and fulfilled in my marriage and sex life. <laughs> Here's why I don't believe that. Um, A, because I've seen Ashley and she's gorgeous. And B, because if that was true, you wouldn't have to say it. If real couples who really feel that way about each other don't need to come onto the internet and say so. So stop it. Just last night, we had the best sex we ever had. And then you guys came in with your disgusting fucking agents. You had the best sex of your life with a woman who can't move and is in so much pain and whose ass you have to wipe? Did you have sex before the ass wiping or after? I'm just wondering. To try and manipulate our relationship yet again. That's not true. Yeah, it is. That's why I'm yeah, you guys won. No. Yeah. You shouldn't have sent her that email. You, they that. won. They won. Shani's right. You shouldn't have sent that fucking email. Don't blame it on everybody else because you got caught being a fucking dirtbag with your, with your pants down. Okay, buddy? You got what you wanted. You sent this girl to do these things, and she did them. And you And there you go. It. Yeah, there you go. See? Even she, she's for you, too. Isn't that awesome? You want to kill her and have her commit suicide, and she's for you. Who you talking about? You. You guys won. You won. You have the mental capacity and maturity of a 14-year-old boy. Do you understand that? A 14-year-old child has more maturity than you. Oh, where'd you get that cigarette, Rev? Did you get it from money that you got from Anja? And she, she just scam her for, for some more cigarette money because she's such a whore, right? But if she asks me to go get her a fucking soda still, I will. If she asks me for help in the bathroom, I will help her with, with 100% because I love her. <laughs> Men that love their wives don't go talking to other women and then tell them to email them pictures as opposed to putting them on Instagram so said wife does not know. That's not what a man who loves a woman does. Sorry. It's a testimony to love. That's what it is. Anything that she would need at this second, if she were to, to be having health problems, I would immediately drop whatever the I fuck I'm doing. I still don't get why you gave her your email just to say, send me your pics. That, I... I was literally saying, if you're going to no, send shit like Jason, that. you should have said, don't send any pics. I did. Yeah. In Instagram. Mixed message and said, send them here so Shani doesn't see them. If you impulsively send shit, send Jason, it there. how do you think, I, if it was you, what would you think? I don't know. I don't know, Shannon. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about that and go in my shoes and see how I would feel. Fine. And, and think how you would feel if, if, you, if you were in that scenario. I was trying to protect you from seeing nude, nudes in your IG again. That's what I was doing. No, I don't. Like, no. That's you what I was doing. You wouldn't have said I like tattoos. Well, I that love was, them. Big ol' L-O-V-E. That was just, that was literally just like saying, yeah, I love tattoos. You don't think that leads her on? No. Why? Well, I, I already. Oh. First of all, if I caught my man doing something fucking shady that I didn't like and I cut it off and then that man then proceeds to go speak to that same person and say, here, hit me up here instead. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's shady as fuck. Shani's right. Give credit where credit is due. It's shady as fuck. If it was just a um, scheme to keep getting money from her um, and pretend to be her friend or whatever, Shani would have been in on it. And Shani was obviously not, so. Yep. Oh my God. I already seen her body. Yeah, I good for you. You've I seen her body. And you did too. It. You did too. Yeah. Make me your enemy. I'm not making you my you enemy. You already did. I see what I see. Good.
So you guys got, and you give them content. You are giving them content. I'm not. You, yeah, you are. You're the one who turned on the camera and said you needed to make a video. Yeah, and I was standing up for you again like an idiot. Yeah, well, don't stand up for me. Say that I'm a horrible person for me being upset that you'd say that and being upset with other things. Go ahead, tell me how much of an awful person I am. You've been extremely emotional and abusive to me over the years. Yeah. I have not been. Yes, you have. Oh, bullshit. You absolutely have. Because yeah. I'm mad because I see you wanting another woman? No, which never happened, ever. Yeah. Well, never happened. You know what, when you tell someone you want to see their pics, guess what that means? I didn't say that. Yeah, okay. I didn't say it. Send your pics here. Instead of IG to protect Shannon. No, that's not what you said. That's exactly what I said. Heart. No, I didn't say heart. There was no heart there. You made that up. No. She just lies too about yeah. stuff that happened. Yeah. She'll just make stuff up about it. Yeah, I'm making that up. What no. I saw. That's right. There was no heart up. there. Yeah. There's no heart there. Whatever. You made it up. There's no yeah, heart there. Whatever. Keep keep talking shit. I didn't do that stuff to you. You started talking shit to me I live. I didn't do anything to you. Yeah, you did. You've done everything. What to did me. I do to you other than love you? So that's it. You got you got what you you see how you got you got what you wanted. You don't take any responsibility over what you say. I didn't do anything wrong. That's wild that he could sit there and say that that he literally did nothing wrong. Like he yes, you did. And the fact that you don't you cannot own that is insane. And he gaslights her throughout this entire thing. Send your pics here. That isn't what I said. Video. That isn't what I said. Yeah. Not it's what for I my said. protection, right? Yep. It I'm was. Sure. It was. Because you ripped me apart all night yep. for that. When she sent them, and I didn't even, I didn't ask for nothing. I didn't talk to her at all. She sent them, and you, you judged me for that. That she sent me nudes. You judged no, me. No, when you tell a woman, send me dicks. I did. I'm sorry, but if there was a person causing this much, <coughs> excuse me, uh, chaos between me and my significant other, that person would be cut out of my life period the end i'm not talking about like friends like lifelong friends that they had a stranger on the internet being inappropriate sending you pictures that are making your significant other unhappy get rid of that person it was that easy that's shani's point that's what you're not getting you continued to ask her for money she i mean i know i read it all i i know everything so you 1,000%, I am telling you and everyone else that watches this, you 1,000% stayed in contact with her on purpose, and you 1,000% went behind Shani's back with that email. She sent them unsolicited on IG. That's when all this started, and you judged me for her sending nudes to me, unsolicited. Disgusting, ridiculous, right guys? Oh, yeah. Yep. Wrong, Rev. Wrong. It doesn't work like that. And anyone with eyes that read that conversation would see that their significant other would not be cool with that. There's, it's, it's really not that hard. Holy it's God. really not. You are a bad guy sometimes. I'm a bad guy now because I'm hurt? Yeah, you put stuff on me I didn't do. I literally said what you said. Back. So I'm done. Like that. And fault then we'll go said. in circles all night with the same shit. It's emotional abuse, and I know it's it. It's not emotional abuse. I'm upset over yeah. what you said to someone else. So I'm done. I'm done. I'm not going over this over and so over. So my here. feelings are completely invalid. You're making shit up. I'm not making shit up. I'm saying what yeah. you said. That's it. That's not making shit up. So you won, guys. You won this battle of, of breaking two people up that were really like a good couple, you know? And I still love her. I do. And I'm always going to love her. You can't take that away from me. You can't. Even if we do break up, I'm not. I'm going to still love her. And if she wants me to take care of her, I will. If she doesn't want to see my face anymore, then that's it, you know? I, I'm going to be in a halfway house or something for a while to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do. Because i got to get out of here you for You literally my don't get, send me these pics. That isn't what I said. You really don't I didn't it. say, send me those pics. I didn't say that. Send me pics here. That's what you said. No, I didn't say. Now, now, you two settle down. We can fix this problem real quick. Let me just go find it, and then we could read it together. Okay? Okay. Well, would you look at that? I found it. It says, yep. It's Rev. This is just my email. If you want to share tattoo pics and such, you can do it here. 
Keep that off Insta, lol. I do love well done tattoos. Awesome art. From what I've seen of yours, you have an amazing artist. Rev. Come on. You didn't even mention Shani in that. Shani wasn't even an afterthought in that conversation. There was no don't send any nudes because I don't want to trigger Shani. There was none of that. So stop lying straight to her face because everyone can read it. They send me pics, period. I said, if you have to send pictures, do not send them to IG. Send them here. Yeah. So that Shani does not get triggered by nudes. But you want to see them. No, I don't. Then why, you would, you, said why that. would you tell anyone? You see what she does? Pics? This is what she does to why? me all the no. time. What? And she's done you this ever since we've been together. Why would you she gaslit me. Gaslight me. Gaslight me. I'm sorry, but there is she's 100 percent right. There is zero reason for you to reach out to her after it caused this much drama in your marriage and say, hey, you can send pics here instead of Insta. That, yes, she is absolutely right to be upset about that. Anybody would. Stop it. Gaslight me. Gaslight me with stuff I didn't say. Why constantly. would you gaslight tell a woman more, to give you more. Rev truly does not know the meaning of gaslighting because that's exactly what he's doing to her right now. In fact, here is what it says manipulate using psychological methods you make them think they are the crazy ones when you are the one with the who who did wrong you are the gaslighter here rev not shannon you do not understand what that word means gaslight me more gaslight me more gaslight me more pouring gas just gas and gas I can't, I can't get that question. I'm gonna lose. She's gonna push me to a psychotic break. You can't answer me. She's gonna push me to a why, psychotic Jason, break. Why? She's gonna can push me to a psychotic why break. Why can't you answer that? She is a disgusting person a lot of times. Oh wow! And over the years, this has been Go so ahead. many times. But I didn't. I I, I'm I didn't want to show why. you. I didn't want to show this you this. This is something you did. This and is I not wanted. Something I did. And I wanted this to be a secret that she did these types of You're things. You're the one who went on camera. But it's true. This has gone on for years of this emotional abuse. What emotional when abuse? When I tried, I'm asking you a question. Nothing happened with this woman. But yet you say send me my. Send I didn't. Your that here. didn't happen. You said send that the That didn't happen. Here. No, I didn't. I didn't say that. Oh my that. god. I didn't say that. Oh my god. I didn't say that. Oh my god. Yeah, we're done, Shannon. Oh my god. Oh my god. You literally have pushed me so far. I didn't do shit to you, boy. Yeah, you're lucky that I love you. I didn't do shit You're to very you. lucky that I love I you. I just asked you a question. Why would you tell a woman to send the things to your private email? I, yeah, I put it the wrong way. I should have just told her again and said, Oh, no. You worded it the wrong way, right? You shouldn't have worded it that way, Rev. The second that this became an issue in your loving marriage was the second that you should have cut it off. You chose not to. You, She's absolutely right. You said, here, send them here instead of the Insta. You are caught and you are still going to sit there and say that she's gaslighting you. Are you stupid? Do you see that you're not taking any responsibility for, for this at all? And you're sitting here calling her names when you're the one who did something extremely inappropriate? Because you needed money. You needed money. I'm sure those pictures of her didn't hurt either. Right, Rev? Look, I don't. we don't want to ever see anything like that shit ever again. No, you do want to see that shit. That's the problem. See? See? But you wouldn't say send the picture. She puts intentions on me Dude, and then that's you. gaslighting. No, it's not. She puts intentions on me, insists it's the case, and that's it. I'm done. Well, what I'm not going to discuss it, it anymore. Why would you want another woman's photos? I don't want them. Then why would you say send them here? I love big letters. I love tattoos and seeing them. Once again, I didn't say that. You don't, you don't see that? You keep, she, she thinks she has it quoted in the email, and it's not. She keeps making it, it up. It is in the email. No, it's keep, not. Keep you keep making it up. No, it's in the email. You are making things up in your head. Keep lying. You just destroy yourself. Keep lying. I have God. You self-destroy. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have the truth at all. Yeah, I do. 
I have God on my side. You don't have any truth. I have God on my side. No, you don't. I have God on my side. You're a liar, Shannon. No, I'm not. Yes, you I are. Have God on my You're side. a liar. How am I lying that I'm saying I have God on my side? You just don't. Yeah, well, because you're Because you believe the lies of trolls. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're pathetic. And, and yeah, I, and I know. Guys, if you are ever in any kind of relationship that even mirrors this a little bit, I want you to run as far as you can away from it, okay? It's okay. Over it. Look, you, and then you're the one who's saying, I'm mentally abusing you when I'm just asking questions, and you're the one who's throwing insults. Yeah, and, right. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. You're, okay. This is competition, okay. right? Okay. It's a competition with her. No, it's be, not a competition yeah, it is. with me. Yeah, it is. You're Everything. Shit. It's all superficial. I'm asking questions. I came on then here you supporting you. Answer. I came on here supporting yeah, and you. and then you switch it to I'm a horrible person. Because you came against me and everybody will see it. I came against you by asking a question? While on air, you came against me. Oh, boo-hoo. I want to know the answer. You should... Hold up. You are both aware that your camera is on and recording a live stream and you're mad at us yikes yikes you should go talk to your friend draven that thinks you're a, just a, the most disgusting sack of shit i don't want to talk did. to him you played his stream he's your friend i right? wanted to know what andrea had to say you should go talk to andrea you should talk to draven too you should yeah he's your friend calling you a disgusting word face pig like he's your friend go for it you should talk to draven you're disgusting. And my uncle put so much money up for you. <laughs> um, I'm <clears throat> sorry. Whose fault is that? That his uncle had him put up money for Shani. That's your fault, Rev. Get a fucking job. Like a, like a grown-up man. Isn't that in the Bible and shit, Rev? Isn't that like the, what the biblical men did? They got wives and took care of them. They didn't move in with their uncles. And they, their sheep. And then hang out there forever, disgusting. right? Yeah, so disgusting. Good. Get on I'm that, Mr. Reverend. You're just disgusting. You use yeah. my family and it's just... I don't people. use your yeah. family. Yes, you do. Sitting on this couch that you have no place at now. What you fail to understand, Rev, is that you chose this woman. You call her your wife. So you brought her there. So, what do you mean she has no business sitting on that couch? You brought her there. And your uncle, you're so lucky that you have a place to go, or you guys would be in a homeless shelter right now. You're horrible. So are you. I didn't gaslight you, I asked a question. Why would you say that? Yeah, well, I know the answer why. And why you're so defensive. I'm not disgusted. I'm not the one asking other people for their pictures. You can't gaslight a fire that's out because I just put the fire out. I'm not fighting. Put the fire out by insulting me and hurting me? I'm not doing that. That really puts the fire out? I'm not doing that. By hurting me? Not After you said you were defending me and then you switched to hurting me? You gaslit me. I asked you a question. Why would you say that? From the start, you gaslit me. No, I didn't. Yeah, I you asked did. you a question. And I told you the truth so that you wouldn't see her pictures in the IG anymore. Ever. Yeah. Jason, that's, that's not what was said. And that's not how it looked like. I don't care how it looked like. I'm telling you, I had no intention sexually with this woman at all. That's why you kept saying you want to move to Norway. Yeah, I want to get out of this country. Yeah. Let's move to Norway to someone we don't fucking know. That's yet. real smart. Someone we don't know yet. Yet? You want to get to know her. No, she was sent by Draven. It's all fake. Yeah, you still were fantasizing about it. No, I wasn't. Going to Norway. Yeah, going to see Norway, sure. Norway's fucking cool looking. The land of Vikings. I have every right to feel the way I feel and right. to be hurt. Feel that way, be hurt. Again. Yeah. Well, now we can be done with it, maybe, right? Because it's where, where you want. If you want to be finished with this, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I know you are because you want to. You want to finish. You're sick of doing. Oh. Yeah, you're sick of helping me. And you put that on me too. You see that, folks? I didn't put that on you. I know. It's I'm horrible. Disgusting. Yeah, yeah. It's... I know I'm going through a lot and I need help. Yeah, but I had, but I need help. Yep. And I'm horrible for needing help. No, you twisted it to your own. You are a total How? narcissist. How? You are a complete narcissist. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yep. No, I'm not. Very abusive, man. How? Because I ask questions. Very. Because I get upset because I see my man go to another woman. Which never happened. Well, that's how I see it. Never happened. 
get never Jason, you said you wanted to move to Norway. You saw her fix. You said send your big here. I don't know what you said to her other than that. You could be erasing messages and stuff. I don't care what you think. I didn't erase any messages. You erased every message that was ever erased. You did. Because you're so insecure, you can't even see another woman's body. That's how insecure you are. When I don't look at anybody but you. That's why you asked for her pics, right? Yeah, go to hell, Shannon. Oh yeah, you're already there. I'm gaslight you to hell, fine. I'm not gaslighting you, I'm just saying what you're saying, I don't understand why. I'm done. You can't even a answer me that question. And you want answers, answers, answers. You want me to talk forever, and you hate my voice, too. You don't even like hearing my voice. I sit, I sit here all day next to you, and if I get a little too loud, shut up. I don't do that. Yes, I say do. quiet down, please. Yeah, you heard in my down, ears. Please. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Like, my life has been just fucking destroyed, man. Why do you have to do this to me? You ripped my soul out, dude. You're so mean to me. You ripped my soul out. You're so mean to me. I didn't do anything to you other than ask a question. Yeah. You're right, Rev. Your life is ruined. Your life is dog shit. And it couldn't have happened to a nicer person. I don't feel bad for you at all. You invited this into your life. This is where it's brought you. Own it. Why do I have to be the bad guy? Because I didn't do anything. Yeah, I... <laughs> Chris says I'm the bad guy and I didn't do anything. I was just working my ass off. <laughs> and now I'm really sick and it doesn't matter. They'll still hurt me. <laughs> Everyone will always hurt me. They don't care. They don't care how I'll take it. <laughs> 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 really give it up. Really give it what up. <laughs> yeah, you always say you're alone and I sit next to you day after day. Yeah, look at the words you said to me. Look at the words you said to me. I only asked a question. And gaslit me the whole time. How did I gaslight you? Uh, no, you're not gonna do this. Yeah, how why I don't do you that? explain how, how I gaslight you? How did I do that? You constantly putting intentions and words in my mouth. Bullshit. What other intention do you think what of other thing when someone no, says send my pics here? No, right, it's not. Somebody with constant See, questions. you're up in your voice and you won't let me finish this so people no, hear. Why don't you listen to the question? Bullshit. Why would you say send my pics here if Instead you didn't want to see them? IG, yeah, you must yeah, yeah. It's more like pics. hiding shit from Shannon. No. Oh, it's not. Oh, then what is it for? I was right sitting right here when I typed it. Then what is it for? So you never see anything. And IG. hiding shit from Shannon. Oh, okay. You want to see her nudes. If she's gonna send it to you, yeah, I want to see what she sends you. Then don't complain when she sends nudes. Yeah, you want to see them. That's the thing. You're implying that, putting intention. I on think me. you have feelings for the girl. You gaslight me every time. I don't have feelings for her. I don't know her. You don't know her. That's extremely interesting because, like I've said, I have all of your conversation with her from start to finish. You seem to know her quite well. I don't love people I don't know yet. I don't know her. But she's from Draven's Crypt. Yeah. And Draven made it clear. Now I want you to make sure you know that I don't tell anybody to do anything. I believe him. I don't think he told her to do it. She did it on her own volition. It could give some whatever she could give. Yeah, and then you can say horrible things to me that aren't even fucking true. Everything's perspective. Yeah, well, apparently I have a low self esteem, but yeah, a narcissist. The two don't match. Which one is it? Oh, man. Yeah, which one is it? You're an enigma, let's put it that way. More I'm a hurt woman because I saw my husband do something that I didn't think he promised me he would never do again. I was talking to this name. And you and you get mad at me for feeling bad about it? I don't care. And then you say I'm gaslighted! It keeps screaming dude. Go ahead. I'm upset! How can I not be upset? Nothing to be upset about. There's nothing to be Oh, I so it's okay it. for women to send pics to you. Is it okay for guys to send you dick pics? No. I didn't ask her for one picture. Except the ones that get sent to your to email. To your insecure ass. Yes. Oh, because it makes me insecure. You are. Yeah, you want to see that stuff, though. No, I don't use the email. Yeah, I wonder why it's called Eager Beaver Pleaser. Yeah, you know, I wonder. Eager Beaver Pleaser. <laughs> oh, Rev. Oh, my God.
my god, you are mentally stunted. Yeah, it, it says something. Oh, sure, it does. Of course it does. The name of the YouTube channel is Rev and Shanny because I really like doing content with you and you never even liked doing content with me. I was constantly asking you to fucking sing some. I've been abused! <laughs> Why do I want to do content when I've been abused so bad? I've done. I can do nothing but take care of your ass. Why? Funny how Rev flip flops from why am I with you to I love her. Why am I with you? I take care of you. I love her. Why am I with you? Like, oh God, shut the fuck up. Why is anyone with you? Be grateful that there's even a woman on this planet that gives a fuck enough about you to get this upset over you talking to another woman because there aren't any other women that would want to be with you. Bet. And then you hurt me. You'd just be abused by you. How am I abusing you? This. Oh, really? Asking questions over something you did is abusive. Every question, truthfully. Yeah? Well, that email... I, I, all there I, is. I can't seem to get it past me when someone says, send the pics here. I, I don't care. I really love I don't tattoos. Care what you think. I don't care. Yeah, I know you don't care. That's why you posted it. The intention was to so you never saw a nude of her again because you're so insecure you can't handle seeing her body. You're so insecure you couldn't stand seeing her body that you're saying to an extremely obese woman, are you fucking kidding me? No, the right answer would have been, I love my wife or girlfriend, whatever the fuck, and I'm not going to speak to any women that could, could hurt her in any way. That's what you do when you're a good husband. And you think I like that? <laughs> Putting intentions on me where there are none. Yeah, that's why you said it, huh? You deleted the pictures real fast. That's why you said it. What? I said send them here, not IG. Ever. Yeah, good. I'm glad you can get your titty and crotch. Yeah, yeah I, I never even look at emails. emails. I never look at that email address ever. I never look at it. Ever. <laughs> never. I know what I saw. I don't care. I don't care. You I put intentions on me, you put words in me. I'm not putting yeah, words you in did. you. I didn't you say did. exactly you did. what you, you did. said. You, did. you put words in my mouth. What words did I put in your mouth? Heart, heart, bullshit. You sent her a lot of hearts. Money. And you love that money too. Because it gets your soda. Wow, what a fucking guy. You like money too. That's why I kept talking to her. You like money too for your soda. You're so fucking pathetic that you can't even get your own wife soda. You're that little of a man that you can't even afford to get her a soda. You have to go speak to a stranger in another country and beg her for money. You're pathetic. It's true. Yes, the very true. Then you know it. Think of a fuck. Yeah, keep keep trying to turn it around on me. I see. But you keep turn it around on you. <laughs> I'm so sick of my heart being broken. You did it to yourself. I didn't do shit! Yeah! There's no intention here. I'm telling you, there was no intention. None. No sexual intention at all. None. Zero. Zero sexual intent. None. Then why, after you received nudes from her, did you continue speaking to her if it upset Shani so much? How come? Zero. And then that link. Mm -hmm. That was on your, your links. Mm -hmm. Don't you love pop-ups that install stuff on your How desktop? do you think I should feel? If it was you, how would you feel about it? I would look at the reality of the situation, that we are trolled by quite a few people, and they take our emails and our, even our personal addresses. Yeah, but here's the thing, you still talk to her, regardless if you know she's a troll or That's not. That's a separate fucking issue. You're talking about this Ancia girl, you were there from the fucking beginning. I didn't say anything to her, I didn't even know what you were yes, talking to her about. Yes, because you don't even care who gives us money anymore. I don't want- why would I want to talk to anyone over everything I've gone through? Go- whatever. You don't even care to thank people. I, I have to thank people. I do. I thank people. I keep track of who fucking gives money to us, and I go to say thank you. That's what I was doing with her. That's it. Because somebody said this- But yeah, you guys are talking about you moving to Norway together. No, she suggested that me and you go for a visit. That's it. Nothing else was discussed. Uh, no. I believe the exact words were, I'd like to move to Norway and start fresh. 
You're making stuff up. I'm not making it up. Yes, you up. are. What am I making up? That we were gonna move there. You've been talking about moving there. Get the fuck out of this country. Anywhere. I don't care. Then you say I'm making it up. You admit that I said that. I've been talking about getting out of this country anywhere. It's not Norway anywhere. No, you've been talking about Norway for quite a while. Yeah, because we started talking to someone trying to. No, you started talking! You talk to to this woman. Now you're gonna Barely, because you brought her in our life. See how you fucking lying sack of shit. You are such a liar. Oh, really? Who's the one who first initiated conversation? Because a person because a person gives money and I go say thank you, it's bringing another woman into our relationship, you psycho. Obviously. You're an idiot. You are a fucking psychotic. I idiot. am when you're talking about moving to Norway and then wanting to see your pics. Fuck you, Shannon. Fuck you. Yeah. You used me and my family. I didn't use you. Yes, I love you, you. You're disgusting and you used my family. Oh, you're just saying that just to say it. But the gravy trade's coming to an end now. The gravy train came to an end a long time ago. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you are squatting in your uncle's house with nothing to your name. So, um, I'm confused, Rev. I'm really confused. The gravy train? You can't even afford soda. And we all know that the reason the uncle hasn't kicked you out yet is because you two played the breast cancer scam to buy yourselves more time. Remember that? Gross. It really is. You're gonna have to be on the street, and I don't know what you're gonna do. Good for you, Jason. I don't know what you're gonna do. Good for you, Jason. Hopefully we can both find a halfway house. Good for you, Jason. You a halfway house? What are you talking about? A halfway house is for people who just either got out of rehab or got out of prison. So that doesn't apply to either one of you. You'll be looking at a homeless shelter. Try again. Destroy this relationship. I didn't destroy Single this handed. relationship. By what? Just asking you about this shit? Smashed it apart. For no asking reason. you about this shit and being upset that you're saying this no stuff behind my back? No reason. Oh, oh, I ruined it. You did. Because I asked questions about it Smashed and I'm upset apart. about it. For no reason. And then you'd say I'm crazy. That's yep. what men do to gaslight women. I'm crazy. I'm horrible. You are. You're being horrible. Well, how? By asking questions? Which I told you the truth of everything. And you continue yeah. to gaslight When have I given you one ad hoc? And put intentions. How many ad hoc have you given me? I don't give a I'm fuck. I'm just asking about questions. What, here. what is this G plus ad hoc? I'm just asking questions here. You don't talk like that. I'm just asking questions. Ad hoc. You're in G plus again. Go have those people. Keep gaslighting me like this. I don't care. I'm not gaslighting you at all. I'm telling I'm you telling why I'm you upset. The truth. I'm telling you why I'm upset. And you brought me into this hell with these people. Oh, yeah, I brought you into you it. You did. Yeah, I did. Rand <laughs> Campbell needs to talk to you. So what? I didn't know it was going to happen. I didn't know there was going to be psychopaths. Yeah, you did. Oh, you I did? You know all about Brett Keen and the type of people that was around him. I didn't know they would go as far as they did. Yeah, right. You brought me right into it. Oh, yeah, it's my fault. Yes. Sir. Oh, what the fuck does this have to do with anything that's going on right now? Why are we talking about some shit that happened in the past? Rev? Deflect much? Don't want to don't want to talk about it. You brought me into it. God, you're so mean. It's all true. You take no no fucking responsibility for yourself. You brought yourself into no, it. No, you called me on the phone and said get in this room with Rand. Campbell. Yeah, I thought you and Rand would talk to each other. He wanted to talk to you, you so I just delayed a message. It doesn't mean I brought you into something. But you can continue with the old things you say just to hurt me. But I'm not saying anything to hurt you. Turns out most of G plus people probably sit down. Maybe. I don't know the truth about what they are. No. I don't know them. Oh, don't you know them? Not really. Why did you call me to bring me into a room? Because he asked about you, so I was like, okay, I'll he give you. He didn't even know me. He, he asked about you. I went in that room. What more do I have to say, gone. Jason? You got me in that room oh and you left. God. I had to take care of my kids. And not only that, they only had so much room. And I said, I'll leave so we could talk to you. Mm -hmm. With these people, i never even seen Christians like this. I didn't know the difference. You didn't know the difference? No, I was a young, immature Christian. That's cool. Why would you call me like that? I already told you. Why would you think I care who Rand Campbell was? Who was Rand Campbell to you at that time? It's just someone I just met. Why would you call me and ask you to go? Because he wanted to talk to you! It's really fucked up and weird. These people, I don't even have a clue. What is your fucking paranoia now toward paranoia. me? It's not paranoia. What paranoia is it? I don't do anything other than. Oh no, the whale crying is coming back. I cut out like a good like 10 minutes of it and here we're gonna go again with it. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is so right. toxic. <laughs> this is exactly what you would be. We love. What did I do? I came on here to make a statement that I love my wife more than anything Yeah, I'm you sure doing. showed it. Yeah, and then you started attacking me on air. It's no, disgusting. I didn't attack you. I asked a question. Go do reaction videos answer. and reveal it, guys. What she did to me. I was being nothing but supportive of you, and you attacked me. How did I attack How? you? How? 
Go see it, guys. How did I attack Go you? Go see it. How did I attack you? Check it out, guys. How did I attack you? By asking a question? Question. Yeah, asking a question is attacking, right? Odd video. I was nothing but supportive of you. You attacked me. No, I asked a question. No, you attacked me. I asked a question. And which you still have not answered. Contrary to popular belief, guys, I am not completely tough. I'm not. So when I you too do realize that you chose to turn on the camera and live stream this. And yes, you are the biggest cuck on the internet. Try again. I get gaslit to this point. You're gonna I'm not gaslit. Yeah, you. I asked time, a question. The whole time you gaslit. I asked a question. From the fucking moment you started. How did I gas? Do you know what gaslighting even yes, means? Yes, I do. Okay, then how did I try to refer to what's going on exactly by asking a question that you that came out of your mouth? I have answered your question a billion times. You don't see a problem with what you said. No, oh yeah, I worded it badly. I did. It sounded like you were coming onto her and you were sneaking around. That I will own because it did sound that way. Yeah, it sounded that way because it was that way, you little weasel. Oh, you're admitting to it? Oh, what a big man. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. I will own that. Yeah, I guess I'm not a pig anymore because that's the only problem I had, but you couldn't answer it. But I'm telling you, you're- But buddy. I'm so abusive! You're, yes, you are! Because you gaslit me to a point where I fucking flipped I out- I didn't gaslight you! Yes, you fucking did! No, I didn't! You're putting attentions on me that I did not have! That Again, gaslighting is when you do something fucked up to someone, they get upset, and then you make them think that they're the crazy ones for being upset for what you did. That's gaslighting. I don't know what you're talking about with intentions. You're putting intentions on me. What the fuck are you even babbling about? You don't know what gaslighting means. Pick up a fucking book. If Shani's in a, such a protected class for her mental illness, and so are you with your mental illness, you think you'd know a little bit about psychology, but nope, you don't know shit. That's gaslighting. I see what you write. And the intention was not sex. Or to see her fucking tits or pussy. So why do you keep saying you want to go to Norway? Because I went out of this country. Yeah, convenient that the girl that's been coming on to you and you keep talking to. Because she's the one saying, come here. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. I, that, I, I, yeah, go to her then. Good, I will. Hi. Hi. Such a... You are... You, you would drive the most sane person in the planet nuts. Go to her. Jason... You are so lucky that you are not my significant other. Because if you spoke to me the way that you just spoke to her, oh boy, you wouldn't recover for quite a while. You are wrong here. Everyone knows I'm not Shani's biggest fan by any means, but you are in the wrong. She's not. No, I'm nothing. Well, don't you remember that this is all fake anyway? I know you're nothing. I know I'm nothing. Yeah, you are nothing, but I love you. Yeah. You Imagine looking at your spouse and saying, You're right, you are nothing, but I love you. Do you see how fucking disgusting and toxic that is? You are nothing, you are, but I love you. <laughs> and you aren't nothing. You made two kids that are really good kids. Oh, we're gonna bring up the kids? That's a that's not a good that's not a good idea because the kids were taken by CPS because neither of you could take care of them and uh Rev you abused them. So let's not bring up the kids. Maybe not a good idea. Just just saying. <laughs> not nothing, actually. It's not accurate. I'm sure. I'm sure. No, you're not. You are not. You are not dirty. <laughs> You're a good mother to two really good boys. That's what you are. And they love you with all their heart. And they want you in their lives. You are not dirt. Shannon, Shannon, my love, you are not dirt. You, you, that's not what you say out of your mouth. That's what I mean, huh? How do you mean? You do, do you realize all the horrible things you just said about me? And they're true, but I still- I'm a narcissist, it's true! Oh god, you go to that. Whatever. You do act narcissistic. You literally said you know what God was thinking. Right at this moment. I know what God feels about adultery, yes! Yeah, I didn't cheat! Ever! Lust in your heart. Shani has done narcissistic things in the past. But in this situation, how is she being narcissistic? Because she said that she knows what God's thinking? Shani believes that she's a prophet. Like, Shani believes she has a relationship with God that nobody else has. 
I, you know what, as crazy as it sounds, uh, it's her belief system. I don't think that anything that makes anyone a narcissist, calling yourself God, is narcissistic. Saying that you know what God's thinking, or you have a connection to God, or God speaks to you, I don't personally relate to, but if she does, that doesn't make her a narcissist. Again, get the fucking DSM and read up on it, Mr. Mental Health. I never cheated on you. Period. Remember, Draymond, I get what I deserve, right? I deserve a bunch of men to cheat on me and break my heart, right, Draymond? Which I never did. And yeah, he would tell you you do deserve it. He would say that. I deserve to be torn apart as a person, right? You're gonna make a lot of money on this video, man. They're gonna make a lot of money on this. I don't care. Good job. I didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. Other than cry and ask a question that you can't seem to handle. You brought it all this on yourself. It's amazing. You're the one who turned on the camera. You turned on it. That's right. And I was saying I I, my, I love my wife. She's everything to me. But yeah, you say the most awful things to me. Yeah. Damn straight. You turned on this live stream and came online so you could say how much you love Shani and she's the love of your life and she go suck her ass because you fucked up and then your real feelings come out when she doesn't fall for it and she doesn't go for it and she remains upset. Then your true feelings come out and you call her what you really think of her. That's what happens. That's what goes on. You coming on here was all just a ploy to make it all better. Put a little patch on it. Look at me. I went online and I told everyone how much I love my wife and I only want to be with her when I was being extremely inappropriate to a very beautiful woman. Okay? So shut the fuck up, Jason. Everyone can see how transparent you are. Stop it. Because you came against me live for no reason. I can't ask a question and be upset over something? I answered it. Oh, because I, I, I said something how I feel. I told the truth. And, and I didn't answered like it. the question. Because it doesn't make you look good. Like me. It doesn't make you look good. By saying no, that isn't what happened. It doesn't make you look good. I don't really care. Doesn't. It really doesn't. I don't care. I know my intention. Well, good. I know my intentions. That's and they're great. here. No, they're, yeah. You might think they are. They are. I just wanted to love you. No, you're not pulling that shit. No. That's true. All I do is love you. Every couple fights, but I can promise you. This is not love, and this is not how people who love each other behave. Neither of them love the other one. There's no way. The things you just said to yeah. me is not love. I ignore all of the truth. You because ignore all of the truth, yeah. Keep making me look bad. Who's gaslighting who? No, I'm not making you look bad. It's, oh, it's oh you're making me look good then. It's a circumstance of how we met. Yeah, okay. And I don't care about any of that. I love you over all of it. Yeah, that's why you say awful things to me. They're just the truth. Yeah, all the awful things you said is the truth, right? Yeah, right. They are. Yeah. You're not nothing. You're not dirt. I love you. But every horrible thing I just said about you, uh, it's all the truth. Everything I just said to hurt you, it's true. But I love you. Right. Except the ad hominem, which are not true. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm a fucking narcissist? That's nowhere That's in my psycho- That ain't in my psychological profile. You're That's wrong. a lie. In your life. How? When you get pushed. I'm, I'm not being narcissistic. I'm asking yes, you. Were. How am I being narcissistic you for being father you when you're saying you want to see God. God. You pictures. said that you're on God's throne and you know his thoughts. I know how he feels about adultery. Yes. And I didn't cheat, you bitch! I wow. This is love, guys. This is what love looks like. Ladies, run if your man speaks to you like that. Didn't cheat! There you go, calling me names again. You are a bitch because you're accusing me of things I didn't do. Well, Adultery. How do you expect me to feel when I, I see something care. like that? I don't care. You should. Uh, does anyone remember around the eviction time, Rev saying, G-Man pays your bills, whore. And Shani was saying that she was talking to him um, and she, he was getting, she was getting money. Funny. <laughs> Funny how that changes, huh? I don't if you love me, you care. <laughs> I won't allow you to give me a heart attack at 40. Because my dad dropped dead from a bad heart. And I'm not going to allow you to do that to me, to kill me. Well, if your father died of a heart attack at 50 and your mother died fairly young of cancer, um, smoking nonstop really doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? <laughs> Rev. You know what you get at this point. 
you're overreacting and you have from the start of this woman and it's just because you see her as attractive. You think she's an attractive girl that wanted me. Well, guess what, Shannon? She was just working for Draven. She was working for reaction channels to get something. Which she never got because I never said, I want to see your fucking tits. I want to see your fucking pussy. Here's my dick. None of it. Are you that fucking blind that you don't understand why she would feel the way she feels considering that she is the size that she is? Like, I'm not even saying that to be mean or dig at her weight or anything. Of course she's self-conscious. Of course that would upset her. And if you did love her, you would have cut it off a long time ago because Anja, Ashley Anja is beautiful. That would make any woman feel insecure. Sorry, it just is the way it is. And he knows that, you know that, and you did it anyway. You just didn't think you'd get caught. Well, nobody worked for anybody, and nobody wanted you. You still made the decision to stay in contact with her. Whether she was working for someone or not, or doing it to troll you, you stayed in contact with her. You are in the wrong. Because it didn't happen. No infidelity took place. Zero. None. I'm not guilty of adultery. And that's the truth, Shan. Because I love you. Yeah, but you say the nastiest things you've to me. Yeah, ad homs were disgusting. And I fucking want to kill myself for that shit. Ad hominems, because they're not true. The ad hominem attacks, where I'm saying you're disgusting, XYZ, they are not true. They're just anger coming out of a bipolar individual. Wow. So you're going to hide behind your mental illness as to why you just said all that disgusting shit. Instead of being... And the reality is, that's how you really feel. Your bipolar does not make you explode on people like that and uh, talk to people that you love that way. I, I, I know a lot about bipolar. It doesn't look like that. Stop using it as, a, as an excuse. It's pathetic. You don't even know what gaslighting or narcissism means. So I don't want to hear it. You are not. I think you're just mad because you got caught. Okay, no, I'm not mad. I, look, I wouldn't have been mad at all at anything. But you kept putting intentions where there are none. I had no sexual intentions towards this woman at all. None. Because I feel fulfilled completely by you. I'm not, though. Because you look at other women. I don't, though. Yeah, you Not do. in that way. I do not look at other women. Okay, you look way. at them sexually, then. What do you mean, sexually? The pornography thing, Jason. Yeah, I know. That's a, that's a, a fucking porn addiction problem. Yes. Yeah, I and then you lie to me and say you don't do it, but yet you do it's it. It's not lying, man. I'm telling you. If I slipped and that happened on January 11th, I don't remember it. I don't remember it. That's awfully convenient. You could say that, but talk to Ellie. Talk to my therapist about it. She will tell you porn addicts are, are compulsive and they can look at shit and not even fucking remember the next second that they looked at it. That's right, guys. If you're looking at porn two seconds later, you won't even remember that you looked at it. How convenient. It's like it's like being accused of something that you didn't even know you did. Hold on a second. Oh, of course. I did some research into it. You guys know me, right? Um, it doesn't work that way. Exactly. Um, it will, however, um, make you forgetful, make you not as on top of your responsibilities, getting behind on things at work, nothing that Rev has to worry about, but you certainly don't just forget two seconds later that you just watched a whole porn. Like, I get what he's saying and where he's trying to go with it, but if you actually look into it, that's not what it means. He's just trying to save himself. <laughs> Sorry, Rev. It's not happening. Sorry, and I mean that. Because that's an agreement between us that we won't do. We're, that would not be something that's in our relationship. Porn. Even though you've said, let's watch Spartacus with me. It's missed signals, honey. It's true. It's true. I said, stuff, honey, you want me to stumble? This stuff's crazy. That's porn. Yeah, and we haven't watched it anymore, have we? Because I just wanted to know the story. Whatever. You know I'm a porn addict, and that shit's pornography. It's porn. If it's this Spartacus that they're discussing, it was made in 1960. It's a Stanley Kubrick film, which he was he directed it. I mean, 
what do you expect from that? That man was a genius, but a dark, dark genius. And uh, my 75-year-old father watches Spartacus and isn't, you know, affected at all. Um, I'm pretty sure the things that you look at online are a lot worse than Spartacus, Rev. But anything you can say to deflect from the shit you just did, right? Now we're talking about Shani making you watch Spartacus to trigger your porn addiction. Get a life. Well, good. Good. Good for you, Jason. Yeah, good for you, You have an excuse Shannon. to make me look like I'm horrible. That's true, Shannon. I'm horrible because I wanted to see a show now! Because you know I'm a porn addict and it could trigger me into seeing porn. I didn't know that! Yes, you do! Oh, so it's my fault what you do. It's your fault for triggering it. <laughs> <laughs> Now who's laughing at someone that's mentally ill and has problems? You that me. <laughs> Unbelievable. What have you done? You show, you show what you do to me, though. You do. You're showing it right now. You just... I'm not doing anything. Yeah, okay. Don't see it. <laughs> Same thing as drinking in front of an alcoholic. Let's watch Spartacus. Blood and sand. You're comparing a movie that has sexual content in it to drinking a bottle of liquor in front of an alcoholic? Are you fucking kidding me? Grow up, Rev. Grow the fuck up. And even before we started watching, I said, Shani, I, you realize what we're watching here? This is pornography. I like it. I'll lighten up. I like it. just wanted to know the story. That's cool, Shani. Because I watched it with my dad. Oh my god. I did though. You we didn't look at it in a sexual way. We just looked at it oh, in a historical yeah. way. <laughs> what? Fuck. Make fun of My God. She's saying she watched it with her father who's gone and not here anymore. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Who cares? It was a fucking movie. There's nothing wrong with watching it. I mean, it could be uncomfortable to watch sex scenes with your parents if you're 15 but when you're an adult like everyone has sex it's part of life like get the fuck over it you'll do anything this is just reaching you're just reaching at this point i don't care i don't care laughs at me everyone laughs at that's me that's shocked i'm shocked everyone laughs at me it doesn't make any difference it's not laughing i'm shocked that's not normal to watch with your father well i did it's not normal according to who it's not normal you you it's not normal according to you who the fuck are you who the fuck are you to say what's appropriate and what's not shut up and sit down i watched the walking dead, dead with my dad too yeah there's not pornography in the walking dead it's open pornography spartacus i think some people will disagree to that but of course. yeah okay they show pussy and dick it's porn and you're mad at me yeah, why don't you just go get a bottle of scotch and dump it right in front of me, Shannon, in a glass? No, I don't buy alcohol, you do. Uh, that's not even close to the same thing, number one. And if you guys watched Game of Thrones, that had just as much sex in it. So, uh, figure it out, little fella. Unbelievable. You're so disgusting to me. There you go, calling me disgusting again. To me. You're disgusting to me. Why? When, when I wipe your ass for you. Why am I, I disgusting? What did I, I do? I clean you like a nurse. You said yesterday how gentle I am with you. That's love. And you do this to someone that loves you I'm that deep. If you loved someone so much, you would not be on a live stream talking about the fact that you need to help them in the bathroom this way. Like, you wouldn't, you just wouldn't want people online, strangers online, knowing that about the person you love the most. Because you know that that would embarrass them in one way or another. And you know that people are going to make fun of it. So you're going to talk about it openly on a live. Nice. Been anything to you. Yes, you are. What? Public humiliation. You're the one who turned the fucking camera And on. you are the one that started attacking me when I was supporting you. I didn't attack you. I asked a question. I'm done. They will see it. I asked a question. Because they all seen it anyway because she sent it to them. You're disgusting to me. I'm disgusting for asking a question. No. I said you are disgusting to me. Why am I disgusting? To me. Why? You keep eliminating me. You do that all the time to me. Like I don't exist. You want to nullify my existence. What That's are you how talking much you about? hate me. You hate me so much that you want to see me be nothing. What am I saying? That's why you, do, but you drove, did the thing. You're saying Colorado. I'm gaslighting you. You're gaslighting me and saying intentions that are That's not true. That's why you, yeah, you took me to Colorado. I mean, I you, took you to Colorado to get me away from everybody that I ever knew. Oh my God! 
to smoke weed. Oh my god, Jason. It's true, Jen. No, and you I, asked me where I would want might, to go in order to save even, the relationship. Yeah, because you said Boulder's dry county, which was totally untrue. I th it was, used to be. Totally untrue. It was untrue. I thought it was. Yeah, let's go smoke weed, Jason. That's not what was said. Let's go, no. I said I was happiest in Colorado. That, that's cool, but that's what you did. And, and every day, three times a day sometimes, you go to the dispensary, he's just using so much money. God, you're so evil. $300 at a time. You're so evil. And you Oh, I'm sure you were both spending plenty at the dispensary, and uh, I'm sure it was an old Shannon. And uh, you said how much you loved Tokyo, Colorado, so I don't see what the problem is now. You would just smoke weed all day. <laughs> Lord Jesus, help me! You would just help smoke me, weed Lord! All day. All day. Help me, Lord Jesus! <laughs> knows the truth. <laughs> help me, Lord Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong what you're saying to me. I lost my identity. It's wrong what you're saying to me. This is truth. It's all true. I, I loved love. you. I loved you too. There's there's love here. There is definite love. But all you're doing is trashing me and you don't even care. Yeah. There isn't love here. There's codependency and trauma bonding. That's what's going on. These were just two very lost people who sadly found themselves, found each other on the internet, and it was a disaster. How oh, much you're hurting me! You first talked about, you let's not try to get Shannon to be suicidal, but you're trying everything to hurt me in every way possible. Because I caught you doing something behind my back! I did nothing. Who's really gaslighted? I did nothing. You're talking to women behind my back and telling them to Never send things to you! Never did it. Liar! Have a heart attack. Go ahead. You work yourself up so much. I hope I do. For no reason. I hope I do so I don't have to deal with heartache anymore. Perpetual, by anyone. Perpetual victimhood. <laughs> From even the one person that's left to wipe your ass. You would abuse like this. I didn't abuse you. Yes, you have. I asked the question. For every second of this video. I, I didn't even say any name to you. For even the one person who will wipe your ass. That's how you speak to the woman that you love. Fucking evil you are you're an evil little 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 spawn you're an evil little worm shani's my wife i love her i don't want any other woman we had the best sex we ever had last night fuck you bitch i wipe your ass like what <laughs> uh, what the fuck is wrong with you two <laughs> yeah you i didn't call you any name bipolar person to the point where they can't see straight i asked you a question she asked you a question that you can't answer because you're guilty as fuck. Stop using bipolar as a fucking excuse because it doesn't work like that. And you keep saying bipolar, I have BPD. I don't care. What the difference does it make? We are both are mentally unstable. Yeah, but it's all about you. Nope, that's what you do. I try to always hold my shit back. You don't though, you've called me every name in the book. Yep, you triggered it. You pushed me right over the edge. Yeah, and you have no self-control. Yeah, I'm going to call you a whole bunch of horrific names and say that you're nothing and all the other shit I said. But, uh, you know, I'm bipolar, so that's, that's my reason. It's your fault. You triggered it. That's gaslighting, Rev. That's gaslighting. Blaming her for you and what you said to her. Because the only thing I was... That's I triggered it by asking a question? Yep, you triggered it by putting intentions that weren't there. You're a weak little man. You know that? You're so pathetic. You're so pathetic. You triggered it. You have some nerve. When I see... I don't care! I say that. I don't care! Please send the pictures here, not on IG. Wink heart. Which never happened. The emojis I the love tattoos. Yes, I, do. I love tattoos. I do. And... I already saw her pictures. I didn't give a shit. I just didn't want her posting anything on IG again, so I have a bad day where you treat me like shit all day for some other woman sending her tits to me. Yeah, and then you say send pics here. If I got mad at you every day for all the dicks you get. I don't get any dick pics. Oh, I don't get any dick pics. I don't. I don't. Prove it. Yeah. Oh my god, they're mocking each other. He's mocking her. Do it. Do it. Prove it. Prove it. Like my six-year-old behaves more mature than that. <laughs> I don't. No, you just have bragged about it to me. Like it's something special. 
When's the last time I got addicted to Jason? I don't care about it. Yeah, exactly. You're probably, just spitting shit out of your mouth. Probably 10 a.m. today on Facebook. Go look. Doesn't bother me. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. At all. What's the matter, Rev? The table's turned. You don't want her getting dick pics because you're so insecure? Because you have a baby carrot? Is that it? <laughs> But yet you want to go and accuse me of something that's not true. Yeah, you get dick pics at you all the time. No, I haven't in a long time. Right. I don't care. I know you don't care. I don't at all. I'm glad you don't. No one really cared how I feel. I do still care about how you feel. Yeah. I do. But yet you said that to another woman. Who I already saw her tits and ass and pussy. Because she unsolicited sent it to us. I already saw it all. I didn't care to see anything. Ever. I didn't want to see anything. <laughs> but yet you say send pics here. Yep. yep. Tell me how that makes logical sense. Does it, does it? No, it doesn't. And I was called every name in the book for that one question. Because you do not want to answer it. I can explain. I've answered it a billion times. Yeah, your answer doesn't make any sense. You can fucking feel that way. I don't care. I do feel that way. I don't care. I did it for your insecurity. Yeah. You can't stand that a woman that looks like that would send me any kind of pictures. And I don't know why, because you knew it was fake from the beginning. She was from Draven's Crypt. It's not real. She might send pictures of her ass, pussy, everything. It's not real. She doesn't give a fuck about me or you. It's to get content. Oh, Not real. I deserve better than this. Yeah, right. <laughs> I deserve better than this. Yeah, right. You've had somebody take care of you completely for two years, two and a half years now. Someone that has no obligation to you whatsoever. It's my uncle. It, you know? He could have said to us a year ago, get out. You're your own person. You're supposed to be able to take care of yourself. Get out. And he didn't do that to us. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that... Um, I love you with all my heart, and I'm always gonna. Um, and I want you to know that if this, you fit, obviously you do feel this way, that you feel your trust was betrayed by this, I'm telling you that the intention was so that you would never see anything from her again. But you do. No, I don't. Stop that! Gaslighting! You said send them here. So that Shani doesn't see it if you have to impulsively send stuff like that. That's Not what was said. That is what was said. No, it wasn't. It wasn't said at all. That is what was said. Shani don't want nothing like that. She likes clean talk. It's nothing. Hey, jackass, show me in that email where it says Shani likes clean talk. Because I read every single communication you had with Anja, and that, that was not said one time. But against you, that's how she is. She wants clean talk. That's what I said. And if you say I said differently, you're lying. Because I'm not, that's not what it said. It's exactly my emails to her. Exactly. I didn't see that. Yeah, because you see what you want to because of oh. your mental illness. Oh, it's my mental illness. Yes, it is. I see someone who said, send your pics here, laugh out loud, so Shani doesn't see it. I love capital letters. I did say that. Tattoos. I do. Yeah. And that's true. That's you saying, bring me your pics. I want to see them. Wrong. Really? Then what other way? How can you conceive? Because I've been talking to means. this girl as a friend, and I yeah, said, for how long? about him. You fucking... When was the first time you remember seeing her face when I was chatting with her next to you? When I thanked her for the money she sent. You're, you're the one who's getting defensive about this. No, I'm sick of your gaslighting. I'm not gaslighting. Yes, you are the whole time. I'm asking questions. No, you're gaslighting me, putting intentions on me. What intentions did I put on you? That I want to fuck her, which I don't. Well, you know what? I see, I see messages like that. It's gonna, I'm gonna think that. I don't. It's, it's in your and you're talking to prostitutes was in my head too, right? Oh, bring up the past now. That's what you you're have the to one do. bringing up the you past. You have to retreat to the past. You, you brought up Brett King. Fair. Facts. You just did do that. And hotel parking, Jason. We're back to the prostitutes. How quickly we forget, Rev. Okay. Yeah. Because I love you so much, I'm past the point of saying I wish I never met you. Because I love you. <laughs> Fucked up mental spit hot spot to be in. That's the one I've been in. Why don't you just dump me, Jason, and make it easy on you? 
Not make it easy on me. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Honey. Die? I don't want that for your sons. I want them to have a mom that's gonna grow up with them for a little while. I want you to see your boys grow up. Oh, really? You want to see? You want her to see her sons grow up? Because you're the reason that she doesn't have her kids anymore. Because you're an abusive little prick. I want you to see that. You know what I want for Shani? Truly, I want Shani to get it together, to be self-sufficient, to take care of herself. And have to never have to depend on a man to take care of her again. I wish that for her and every woman on this planet. I don't think it's ever going to happen. But that is what I wish for her. I, I do think that she is capable, if the will was there, to support herself. To go into a field that she enjoys. To make something of herself before it's too late. Because she's not as sick as she claims to be. We all know that. And, um, I would like to see her on her own without this fucking loser who's going to sit there and lie to her and w say horrible things to her, knowing that she already feels like shit about herself. It's just all disgusting, and I hope she finally gets away from it. Alcohol. You kept me here, so let me help you now. With your health. Well, see, and, like, things like that don't help me. Well, I'm telling you that there was no intention like that. None. Zero. I'm going to catch you talking to her again. <laughs> okay. You want to talk to her. I knew it was fake from the start, Janet. I know she wasn't all up in her pussy for me. Oh, I'm horny. I want to fucking grab Well, yeah, you keep talking about moving to Norway, but you knew from the beginning it was fake, right? Yeah. Oh, but yeah, you keep talking to me about moving to Norway. No, let's talk about moving to the UK. Somewhere other than America. I don't like this place no more. It's too crazy. You would love those Scandinavian countries because they get fucking all kinds of it. Socialized health care, all of it. They actually, like, pay for social programs. I need help. Yes, you do. You better believe you do. <laughs> you will go to the lengths of moving to another country who has better social programs so you can avoid getting a job and just milk off another government? <laughs> Is that what you're saying, Rev? Because that's what I'm hearing, and I am so not surprised. But wouldn't that be perfect if you could move to another country and then just milk them for all their government benefits? Because you're not getting any here, and you're not get or what you're not getting what you want or what you think you deserve. So let's go to another country and try there. You sound ridiculous. And that's what you're starting to do, is help you. To get you healthy, try to get you healthy. So you can walk around, do things, <clears throat> and start living again. That's what I want for you. I want you to walk and see your sons graduate from high school. William and then Zachary graduate. I want you to see that. I want to drive you to it. Or you drive with me in the passenger seat and you're driving a car again. I want you to be Shanny, fully Shanny again, whoever you were. I want you to fully be you. But you call me every day to the book. Yeah, that's horrible shit, and I don't, I don't want to do that ever, because it's all bullshit. The ad hominem attacks towards you are all bullshit. None of that's true. It's stuff to throw at you, because I'm really angry, and I'm immature like that, and say stupid names. That's true. What questions? <clears throat> yeah, but I answered your question. I'm telling you the truth. There was no sexual intention. I call bullshit on this, because that's it's the yeah. way how you put it. Fine. Showed you were looking. I saw her you ass it. and pussy and tits already. Good for you. It's uninteresting to me. I would It's so uninteresting to you. All these naked pictures that you got from her, but Spartacus triggers you. Okay. That makes a lot of I'm sense. More pictures because I already saw her. But you did. No, I didn't. You said send your pics here. Instead, you asked for more. Instead of IG to protect Shani, she does not like seeing this bullshit, etc. Yeah. It's not what you said. Exactly what I said. Not to her. Yes! It's the only time I wrote it! Okay. I didn't get into the specifics of it's because you're insecure and she thinks you, she Shani thinks you're attractive and then I'm looking. That's the full spectrum. Oh, so you are looking. You're admitting you are looking. Shani thinks I'm looking. When as soon as her pics came through, you oh, do it. Oh, it's all my fault again. No, she sent them. It's her fault. Yeah. 
Yeah, I wonder why she sent them. Because it set me up. Or maybe you asked for them. Uh-huh. When you've seen every conversation, you're a liar. You're lying to yourself to save face for an audience now. Rev, you have lied. We're at 84 minutes now, okay? <laughs> now you guys know why this took me so long. You have lied this entire time to her about this. You have lied this entire stream. No, I'm not. It's pathetic. <laughs> I'm lying? This is pathetic. I don't know who you think you're going to gain in fans here. I'm not talking to people. I'm talking to you. This is pathetic. I'm talking to you. Yeah, and you're just digging a grave for yourself for no reason. It, it don't matter if I have a grave or not. I'm already dead. Ah, cool. You hear this? <laughs> You're already dead. Yeah, I'm already a ghost of a person. I'm already heartbroken. I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to do anything. Great. I have no will. Awesome. God. He loves her, by the way, well. and she's the only woman he wants to be with. Okay, this is how this is how that he expresses die. that. I got nothing. When you're the guy here sitting here taking care of her, trying to help her. Yeah, you make me feel so small. You did that to yourself. No. You feel this way about yourself, Shannon. Yes, you do. But yeah, I'm a narcissist. <laughs> yeah, same time you are when you get triggered. Yeah, that makes a lot of fucking sense. When you're triggered, you're a narcissist. You, you're 99% narcissist. Or no, 90, I'm not. Yeah, 90% narcissist. No, it's not 90%. Then what's the percentage, Shannon? Tied. 70. There you go, tied. I'm telling but you. But I'm not being narcissistic, I'm asking questions. And I answered your questions. I'm saying bullshit because it doesn't make any sense. Gaslight. No, it's not gaslighted. It's what you said. No, you're saying I'm lying to you and I'm telling you I'm not. You're trying to put intentions on me and they're false. I hope you and her have a happy life. That's great. It's fake. What do you not understand by fake? Good. And, and, and Salah was just acting shit out. She doesn't even like me. Do you get that? It's fake. That's why you keep talking to her. I keep talking to her for money that you need to. Yeah, fuck looking for another job. That's too much. Just keep trying to scam strangers uh, for money, despite it almost ruining your entire relationship. Just, just sounds like a good idea. Holy shit, to think I came on here to defend 55 viewers. See? I don't care, you care about it more than I do. You care, you always care. No, I don't. Yeah, you, do. you needed that attention to tear me down. The numbers don't lie, <laughs> do they? The numbers don't lie. This is uh, the emails don't lie. The IG messages don't lie. The going behind Chinese back is not a lie. And, um,. I don't know what else to say. You're gonna continue on thinking that you're right when you're not. Exactly. Like everyone else does. This That's is... what people do. See the victim when she gaslit me the whole fucking night? I didn't gaslight you, I asked you a question. Gaslit me the entire night. You're so mean to me. I didn't do anything to you. I... Yeah, you did, you called me names. You treated me disrespectfully. My intention was to come on here and defend my marriage. And to, yeah, you really defended it pretty good, didn't you? And to defend Shanny against assholes? Yeah, oh, why don't you defend Shanny against yourself then? And you ripped that away because you attacked me right in the beginning I didn't of the attack video. you, I asked yes, a you question. Did. Yes, you did attack me. I asked a question. So she chose the side of haters over her husband that wipes her ass. That's insane. I see what you say. It's crazy. I see what you say. That she would do this to somebody that takes care of her. It's insane. I see what you say. But I will have it on record. I'll have it on record that I love this woman more than anything on the planet. And my intention has never been to hurt this woman. Yeah, you did a good job with that. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. <laughs> and people can be shit stains. And I, I've been shit stained. And, and I have been a shit stain to you tonight because I have called you names. And I do not want to call you names because that shit is lies on my part. I am lying to you when I call you horrible names because I don't feel that way about you. We guess it. It could be considered a form of gaslighting to insult, and I never want to throw insults. But you do. Yeah, I do when I get really riled up. Yeah, that's, that's a good excuse to have. 
See, now you will keep pushing me and further and further push me more when I'm trying to apologize to you and calm this down. You're trying to make You push me back in the is. fire. You push me back into the fire. Yeah. Just because you decided to come on live and start this I love Shani nonsense doesn't mean that she isn't allowed to still be upset about it. Just because you're trying to make it all better now after what we just witnessed, she's still upset. She's allowed to still be upset. That's not throwing you in the fire. That's called she is still not over it. She's still hurting over it. You are, you're the one playing the victim. People are allowed to feel how they feel. People are allowed to voice their feelings and you using your bipolar as a trigger to do what you did doesn't, do, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's mean, it's nasty. And I, I, I don't blame her. That's what she does to me guys. And it's gone on for years. That's true. I push you back in the fire. Yep. I try to calm things down and you push me right back in the fire. Yep. After saying horrible things, I should just automatically be like, okay, right? Just Cause I don't mean them. Sorry. Cause I don't mean them. It seems like you mean them when you say them. Well, I don't mean them. Yeah. That's why they repeatedly said to me over and over again. This is what a mentally ill bipolar person does. They strike out when they've been pushed way too far. Yeah, by asking a question. Wrong. I answered your question and you continue to push me and gaslight me. That's the truth. By putting intentions on me, which were not there. Send your pictures here. Done. I really I, you're going too. to do this over and over again and it's stupid. I'm done. Yeah. I came on here to defend Shani against Draven for saying all horrible things, but then I came in and said horrible things too because I'm so angry. Yeah, you're worried about other people driving me suicide. But the ad hominem attacks, I, I hate them. And I'm try, I've am try. i been talking to my therapist about that ad nauseum to stop ad hominem attacks of all kinds. And it's immaturity, number one, but it's also my mental illness. And when I say horrible things like that, I don't mean any of them. It flies out. My fucking grandfather had the same issue. He'd say things he did not mean at all. It's part of mental illness. And the fact is, is any circumstances that me and Jenny came together, we did, and I love her. And she and, and and the things that are said are untrue about her, horrible shit that's untrue. About her status as a mother, and all of this stuff that's absolutely patently false. She's a wonderful mother, always has been a wonderful mother. She's loving, in every way you could imagine. She's loving. My Shani. And I realize that what's happened here looks untoward, but it just looks it. It isn't the reality. Of what was going on. But her heart is so good. And it's trampled underfoot. Myself included. And I repent of it. I repent of hurting Shannon. And I apologize to her for every bit. Of what seemed to be something. But I knew this girl. Was from them from the start. Okay. She was straight up with me from the start. My family is in desperate need. Every day for food and everyday things that we need in this house. I literally talked to this girl to get money because she sent us $50 in one day, which is unheard of. And I repent of that greed because that's basically what that is at the end of the day is having money in my bank account to do something with. So I fully repent of all my wrongdoing of whatever it is. And I apologize for, for a horrible thing said because it's not right. And I hate myself every time this shit type of thing happens. But my, my I, I, I am in therapy. And I'm going to be continue to be in therapy and hopefully one day that I won't lash out and say bad things that aren't true, that have no bearing in reality because Jannie's a wonderful person. But I want you guys to understand the area of your ways that you're attacking a person that does not need it and it's against the law to attack her. It's against the law to attack her, but I just did for the past 90 minutes, but it's against the law. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I can't go around in circles anymore. Yeah. I love well, my what wife. What you're saying is, seems hypocritical. Unbelievable. I love my wife, and I'll love her till the day I die. And maybe I have Stockholm Syndrome, but I love her. So the video cuts off there. Um, the channel Even Relevancy is uh gets credit for this entire video um and i will uh tag him in the description so you can go check his channel out um the fact that he just said maybe i have stockholm syndrome i i can't i, I just it's like uh, i have never that's hell 
What's going on in that house is hell. And I'm so happy those boys are not there anymore. And I know that I, in this video, I was very um, kind of on Shani's side because I didn't see her doing anything wrong here. He did. And I know everything about the Anja situation from beginning to current. So he could sit there and lie to her all he wants, but I'm still going to have proof of it and proof of it and proof of it. This is not love. This is codependency and trauma bonding. And it's sick and it's dark and it's sad. And I don't wish this on anybody. So here's what I'm going to do since I'm so far behind. <clears throat> it took me so long to get this video done. Literally, you can ask my friends. I have been trying to get this done for so long. But now I'm like three or four videos behind on graveyard flowers that she posted. So I want to get to those and then react to those. So this will be part one of this. Me and BGTV are still going to do something. I don't know what. And um, then I will just continue to go over the videos that I have not reacted to yet. Because this situation just needs a lot more attention um, than I think it's getting. And uh, I don't like what's what I'm hearing about what I haven't seen yet. So, <laughs> just expect to hear Angry Ella for <laughs> the next three videos I make. <laughs> anyway, I will, I will not bore you guys anymore. This is a very long video. I love you all. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for sticking by me when I disappear. It's just life is... There's not enough hours in the day for me. I, I just I can't find it. <laughs> so... Uh, thank you for holding out for me and um, I appreciate all of you and I love all of you and I hope you have a great Wednesday and I'll be talking to you again very soon. Hit the like on the way in or the way out if you liked it and again, I love you guys. Have a great night. Shit. Don't worry, just another day in the same old shit dick in my pockets uh, Trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents, yeah huh. But that don't mean that I fall for 